Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this video I'm going to show you how to factory reset or factory default and upgrade the firmware on a Sonic Wall. So uh, I'll be making some other videos. A Sonic Wall is a firewall appliance. Uh, it has it's usually for like a you know businesses things like that enterprise, and uh, you know it has a lot of different uh, software features like uh, IPS and uh, anti-spyware, anti, uh, well, gateway antivirus as they call it here, things like that. So uh, there's a couple different uh, vendors that do this, uh, like Cisco, Palo Alto, uh, Checkpoint, and uh, Fortinet, and uh, maybe one or two other ones, but uh, SonicWall is one of them. So uh, <clears throat> we'll go ahead, get started. Basically, I'm starting this from scratch. I haven't done this yet, so... Uh, what you're looking at here, we have a constant ping going to 192.168.168.168. This is the default IP of the Sonic Wall that uh, that you get. So, uh, you know, the the person I bought it from already had it set to this. But uh, basically, what I'm going to do is we'll get started and uh, show you how to factory reset this. So, you know, you need your handy paper clip, and uh, basically, you find the little slot in the uh, sonic wall where you know just like the little thing where you put the paper clip in everything has it so you just do that uh, hold it down for they say like 15 seconds but in my experience it's longer than 15 seconds so we should see what happens here because it should uh, the ping should start to fail and basically what you want to see is on your sonic wall uh, one of the lights should uh, they call it an amber light and it should start blinking uh, well it should start blinking that's what's happening uh, right now so and we're back up so <clears throat> that is part one of this so uh, now what we need to do is uh, go to 192.168.168.168 and then we'll install the uh, new firmware so right here Basically, you know, using the paperclip uh, thing, put it into safe mode. So you see here, SonicWall TZ205, uh, 5, where's the firmware here, 5816, 58115 is the newest one, and that's what I'm going to put in. Like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this. So uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to go, and, and this is like... Uh, you know, like I said, this with a paper clip will get you to safe mode here. But basically, what I'm doing is I'm factory defaulting this Sonic Wall unit, so it wipes out everything and starting fresh with a new, uh, the newest firmware, which is 58115. So I go update or upload new firmware. I'll browse and I'll get it. And what you'll see is with SonicWall firmware, let me get to it, it's an SIG file. That's what it ends in, so that's what you'll do. Uh, also, too, this is this is all done through MySonicWall.com. Like, uh, with a lot of these firewalls, it's a hardware plus software subscription service. That's what this is, too. So, TZ205-58115, uh, that's the newest one. That's what I'm going to do here, so I'm just going to upload it. We'll give it a minute or two, and uh, or less, and basically what we want to do is upload it firmware. So for example, if you had like your previous settings, you could go and uh, just boot just with the uploaded firmware. But what I want to do is, because I just bought this from some dude, is uploaded firmware with factory default. That takes you basically, you're starting from scratch, which is where I want to be, with the newest firmware. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and boot to that. And three to five minutes, it shouldn't take that long. And we'll just let it go. And you see at the bottom it says waiting uh, for 192.168.168.168. So what it should do is it should redirect us in like uh, 30 seconds or, or less, hopefully, to the uh, basically the default page of the Sonic Wall. And uh, what we'll do from there is we'll go ahead and I'll just, you know, we'll just throw in the default uh, user credentials, which you'll always want to change once you, you know, get in the first time. But, uh, you know, we'll do that. And then basically that's kind of what I wanted to show you. 
and uh, I'll be just so you know I'll be making some more Sonic Wall videos there's uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with these things and uh, I've had some exposure to them so uh, you know I'll be doing a little bit more so there we go it's restarting and it should just like I said it should just redirect us uh, when it gets there and what's nice with these uh, well, with the Sonic Walls here, this TZ205 is kind of a cheaper version. I mean, it's like $400 or something, uh, you know, if you're going to buy it new. Uh, but uh, the thing is, they, like uh, Cisco, you know, the ASDM, the ASAs, uh, you know, the other firewalls, and I'm, I'm, I haven't had experience with, like, Palo Altos or, uh, or uh, Fortinets or Checkpoints, but I'm pretty sure, I know for a fact, that Sonic Walls and ASAs use the same operating system for their base model like their cheaper stuff which is like this and their higher stuff which is like you know sixty hundred thousand dollars plus so it's good to know this stuff and you know you don't have to spend a ton of money to get it to get these skills because you can just buy like a you know like a used one like I did here and kinda of work on it same with an ASA uh, so same thing Alright, so uh, we're not going to do the setup wizard here. We're just going to go to log directly into the management interface. Uh, this is, I got like a little netbook thing, so hopefully the uh, hopefully you can see this. It's 1366 by 768, so we'll, I guess we'll find out. But uh, So management interface, click here, that's what we're going to do. Redirects us, and of course you just accept all this stuff. What the hell? Okay, hold on. One second. Add exception. Hit the wrong thing. Okay. I don't want to trust this. Give me a break. Alright. So once you get through all that, uh, you know, self-signed certificate garbage, uh, your default password for any of these with a factory reset is admin and password. Don't want to save that. Jeez. So, we are in the Sonic Wall, and if you saw before, we were at 5816. Now we're at 58115. So, this is kind of a start, and this is where uh, I'll do some more videos on, on getting this uh, set up, registering it. You know, we'll do this. I'll talk a little bit about my Sonic Wall and all that stuff. But for now, I just wanted to show you how we did the uh, booted into safe mode and upgraded the firmware and now we're on a fresh set of 58115. So that's all I had for this video and uh, stay tuned for future videos.